News Talk 820 WBAP now on FM at 93.3. Make it a preset. Well, the violence, the uh, Jew hatred, and the support of radical uh, terrorism, radical Islam, uh, Islamism, and uh, Hamas has now come again, but this time in a much more violent fashion at UTD uh, today, University of Texas at Dallas, the one of our North campuses in, in North Texas that I would never think would be one. Uh, we'll talk about that in a sec, but here's some audio of that. Richardson Police, State Police, and Collin County Sheriff's Department coming in and show them who's boss on the day they set up tents. 19 arrests. The tents were immediately taken down. The t- the uh, the tents for camping and the tents for uh, going underneath for sun, you know, those ones you see at gatherings, those were uh, busted up. They weren't folded up nicely. They were busted up. Trashed in there as, uh, I don't know, a couple hundred at least or more uh, pro-terrorist people were cheering uh, illegally on our campus there in in North Texas, UOTD, excuse me. And uh, the greatest thing of all is where they're going to be put, where they're in jail, and whether or not gonna, when they're going to be released. That's in a moment. But here's the violent audio from UTD today from WFAA TV Channel 8. <laughs> On and on and on it goes. Uh, the Students for Justice at, in Palestine, which is a radical Islamist pro-terrorist group, the ADL uh, uh, backing that up, uh, they had a tweet that I've retweeted several times. Uh, they praised the Houthis, who are in Yemen, who, uh, when they said death to America and death to Israel. And they, re- they retweeted it and praised it on their Twitter feed. So that's who Students for Justice in Palestine is. They're a radical Islamist group that supports slaughtering Jews and celebrates it. Uh, and they have leaflets they pass out with the uh, ha- paragliders coming in to rape, gang rape, murder, and uh, slice up Jewish women, uh, treating them worse than they treat cattle. And this is cheered on by Students for Justice in Palestine. This is terrorism, and these are radical leftist Islamists uh, in this group. And so uh, they're going to be spending the night in Collin County Jail. This is so late in the day, it ain't going to go before a judge till tomorrow morning. And I am grateful. Put those bleepity bleeps in there, and you're in Collin County. We're going to get real justice, not social justice, and they're going to get what they deserve. You are in America, and you do not pull this crap in Texas or North Texas or anywhere in this country. We see heroic battles for a flag at UNC. At UNC student, a male frat comes in, and they actually love their country, and they push back these pro-terrorist people, took down the Palestinian flag, and put up an American flag. That's what we have here. America's back. We have UCLA. Three hours, two to three hours of beating the hell out of each other. The radical Islamists and the pro-Israeli uh, people, uh, the cops didn't come in there because it's L.A. They don't want to enforce any laws. And so there's violence, beating and beating. Here's audio of that. <laughs> Halfway through the uh, quad. Look at this. Somebody is being beaten. Somebody is being beaten with a stick and punches in the middle of the lawn. Don't do that, dude. Somebody is being badly beaten at the bottom of that brawl right there. And you're seeing these scuffles break out one after another. Uh, Lots of very heavy sticks, very heavy barricades, scooters, all types of things being employed to inflict harm on the uh, on the other side here. We also see that 300 uh, Hamas supporters were arrested in New York City from both um, uh, what's called Columbia and uh, uh, City College. 
I want to ask you a few questions about this. Uh, do you want authorities? And by the way, there's pro pro uh, professional protesters are directing students at New York. Uh, in New York at Columbia, and uh, they're also urging a separate uh, group of people that's a New York City nonprofit are urging the Columbia rioters uh, and pro-terrorist people to say, recreate the summer of 2020, create George Floyd riots. That's funded by Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs, $12 million for those radical leftists. And then we also see that a the same professional protester, according to the NYPD, same one as, as orchestrated some of these BLM riots in New York, Occupy Wall Street, and Trump protest is there uh, doing this too. So uh, you have many, many things going on tonight. Do you want authorities to investigate who paid for and organized these protests? And you better believe it in, in Texas to it, North Texas. Should they be banned from funding these terroristic, violent extremists? And do you think these protests could end up being a good thing for America as we're hearing people stand firm and stand up and put that flag back up and chant USA, USA spontaneously? We're seeing uh, Jewish Americans in at UCLA fight back. We're seeing Jewish Americans in a nonviolent way fight back. So I think what we're seeing here is people who love this country and support Israel, support the Jews, support Americans, and support, support freedom and um, not radical Islam and killing and hating Jews. Their, their, their narrative is being told. They're fighting back. And I think it's a good thing overall when I see this. And it is absolutely horrifying and, and disgusting. But uh, 800-288-WBAP is our number. 800-288-9227 is our number. Do you want authorities to investigate who paid for and organize these protests? Should they be banned from funding these terroristic, violent events? And do you think protests could end up being a good thing for America as we hear people fighting back and, and putting those American flag back flags back up? Um Lines wide open for you at this time. Chime in right now. So the UT, uh, you got to hear this coming up next uh, on the Chris Crock Show on News Talk A twenty WBAP now on FM at ninety three three. UCLA protesters, their demands are over the top, ridiculous and pathetic, and it shows you who these people are, and it's so embarrassing for them. Um, but I really want to focus on a few things here. This this UT Dallas protest, I'm going to tell you something right now. Students for Justice in Palestine is orchestrating this and is part of it. And this is a radical Islamist group. Here, uh, the ADL said in their tweet uh, two days ago, on Friday, students for, national, for Justice in Palestine, national one, tweeted, thank you, Yemen, alongside a photo of a rally in, the, in Yemen featuring a sign with the Arabic slogan of the Houthis, death to America, death to Israel, a curse upon the Jews. And this is what SJP wants. And they're on our UTD campus. That's supposed to be a calm and peaceful one. So I'm wondering what's going on here. Oh, oh. Thanks to the New York Post, no thanks to Texas media, thanks to the New York Post, we have uh, uh, evidence and proof that one of these pro-Hamas, pro-terrorist protesters is with this radical uh, Islamist group that supports terrorism with Students for Justice in Palestine. She is on their payroll, at least she was, Nidia, or excuse me, Nida Lafi, a former president of UT in Austin, Students for Justice in Palestine, seen at this encampment at UT Dallas Wednesday, and they were there again today, according to WFAA TV Channel 8. So you have pro-Hamas, pro-terrorist, Jew-hating, uh, Hamas supporter uh, people at UT Dallas. Uh, that one, that when I just mentioned her name, she is now going to SMU as a full-time law student. How much you want to bet she was at the campus again today? She should be arrested. And by the way, the 19 people that were arrested at UT Dallas this afternoon in stunning footage uh, and makes me proud of the cops in Richardson and uh, in Collin County, etc. cetera. Uh, the, she is an SMU student, so what's she doing at UT Dallas? That's a That should be another uh, serious uh, infraction. And does SMU support people that uh, rally and bless uh, terrorists? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem like a SMU value, does it to you? 800-288-WBAP, 800-288-9227. You're going to love this uh, UCLA Palestinian Society demand list. I'll tell you about that. You're going to hear some of the great parts of this. Coming up next on the Chris Crock Show, News Talk 820 WBAP, now on FM at 93.3. 800-288-WBAP is our number. That's 800-288-9227. <laughs> 
They just thought... Well, that's uh, audio from UT in Austin yesterday. 79 pro-Hamas protesters were arrested. That was an explosion, and I I don't know if it was an M80 or what, but that was uh, was feet away from a bunch of cops. Somebody lit it and threw it in there, it appears. Now, uh, what's very interesting at UTD, and by the way, this is uh, News Talk 820 WBAP, now on FM at 93.3. Make it a preset Chris Croc show. Uh, 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. Asking you, as we see uh, 19 arrested at UTD with a quote-unquote occupation, with pro-Hamas terrorist students for justice in Palestine being involved and uh, appears to be possibly leading this as they did on Wednesday, UCLA, two hours of mass violence, beatings, uh, no arrests, chopper cam, you heard the audio from that, was sh- shocking. The protesters' pathetic demand for, uh, for what they're asking for, here's just some of the things. And this is on my Twitter feed, at Chris Croc Show. That's at Chris Croc Show. Headlamps, airsoft goggles, gas masks, respirators, especially for our medics. I mean, what is this crap? Uh, skater helmets, shields, wood for barrier, knee and elbow pad, rain ponchos, canopies, utility gloves without reinforced knuckles, super bright flashlights with strobe, charged, umbrellas, EpiPens, Oh, let's see here. Um, uh, food, vegan food, hot food for lunch, important. These are not people that believe in anything. This, these are not Dr. Martin Luther King people. These are, these are children from well-off places in the country. These are spoiled little brats, but China and Iran uh, and Russia loves these folks. They also ask for zip ties, sleeping pads, Lotion. What's aqua for? I don't know. No sunscreen, all caps, bolden. So this is the state of these uh, people that are useful idiots rallying and terrorists among them as well, many of them, uh, in my opinion. Uh, My questions are, do you want authorities to investigate who's paying and organizing all these protests, paying for and organizing all of them? Should they be banned from funding these terroristic and violent threats on our campuses, including UTD today. Do you think these protests could end up being a good thing for America as we see patriotism and we saw, like, we saw some of the chiefs of police at New York City yesterday take down the Palestinian flag at Columbia and put up the American flag again, and then we saw students do that. You heard that uh, in the last segment. Uh, by the way, uh, 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. Do you think these protests could end up being a good thing for even Americans? Uh, UW-Madison. Uh, today they arrested a whole bunch of them and they were yelling Heil Hitler at Jews yesterday. Again, I'm going to say this again. These radical Islamist Hamas supporters were yelling Heil Hitler, uh, and saluting it at Wisconsin's Jewish students while violating their statutes by pitching the tents on the grounds. Uh, this happened uh, two days ago, according to the Wisconsin Law Journal, and it's been making the rounds uh, all over the news. So, um, at the UTD campus today... Quote, uh, the uh, pro-Hamas people said, we reject our university's complicity in profiting off the genocide and will continue to escalate and put pressure on a university. 19 of them cuffed and stuffed. They're spending the night in Collin County Jail. And uh, one of their organizers says, we organize together as a collective for divestment. We are safer. We're able to do this because we know that students have the power. Yes, enjoy your power in jail. Uh, Why doesn't UTD expel these students? So uh, the fourth year, one of the fourth year students there is uh, Ahmed Mohammed says he's per- he wants the campus to provide a safe space for Palestinian students. Look at this garbage! Uh, did you know that Northwestern uh, agreed to create segregated dorms for Muslim students? Segregated dorms. Segregated dorms for Muslim students. UTD final uh, exams start next week. This is uh, this is some 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 amazing stuff going on. John Cornyn, as you heard in the news at the top of the hour, said the line between protesting and rioting has been crossed time and time again. 
Uh, Pro-Hamas rioters have taken over buildings, threatened Jewish students, prevented students from pursuing the very reason they're there, which is education. Uh, I do want you to hear something else from Megyn Kelly, her observation. And I have to say it's true. Listen to this. And by the way, why are they so unattractive? I really legitimately want to know why are all the protesters so homely? I don't think they're unconnected. I'm not going to lie. I think attractive, smart people are not drawn to this nonsense. They're living their lives being successful. It's the unattractive and or dumb people who feel the need to do this to feel like they matter. Sorry. Uh, You know, I got to be honest with it. I I didn't see I've not seen any attractive people on their side either. Have you? I I mean, seriously, I mean, it's a surface uh, thing, but I have you seen one attractive person in these uh, pro terrorism rallies? In riots, have you seen one attractive person in any of them? 800-288-W, we'll, we'll put that in there too. And, and why do you suppose that's the case? 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. Do you think, do you agree with Megyn Kelly uh, that there's no attractive people in any of these protests? And do you think these protests are, you know, uh, uh, looking homely overall? And have you seen any good looking ones? Why do you think that's the case? 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. Um, what, a, what a crazy time in our world. Uh, I couldn't be happier that 300 New Yorkers, uh, or not New Yorkers, but terrorists and pro-terrorist people were arrested. Third degree, uh, third degree burglary is one of the charges along with criminal trespass and other ones, rioting and such. Um. But it, I, I got to tell you, I was shocked that UTD had this going on at their campus. They are the nerdy school in a good way. They are the school where if you go there, you're probably going to do very well overall with your career. I'm familiar with that school, and um, I have nothing but good things about that school. I've heard nothing but good things. Where's UN, U, uh, UNT? They're the ones that have the most radical leftist in all of North Texas, truly, from my experience. And I don't know what's going on over there. I wonder why I haven't heard as much from over there overall. Uh, By the way, coming up next, this um, this is shocking, especially the timing of this, and it's disgusting. The White House, Joe Biden, is now considering welcoming Palestinian refugees from Gaza. The, the population that nobody wants, no Muslim country wants them, no one will take them, and we know why, and I'll tell you why. And uh, I'm going to ask you this right now. Do you support bringing Palestinians to America as refugees, as Joe Biden wants to do, and do you trust them not to hate Jews and hate Americans? 800-288-9227. That's 800-288-WBAP. We're going to get into the details of that next. A breaking news story this afternoon from CBS. Biden wants the radical leftist uh, population of of uh, Palestine, where uh, or, excuse me, of uh, Gaza, to come here, and uh, I have the stats to back up what I'm saying. That's next in the Chris Crock Show News Talk 820 WBAP now on FM at ninety three three. Okay, the here it is. While we're seeing uh, Islamists, pro Hamas people, pro terrorist people, and useful idiots come together on our nation's campus, including here in uh, Richardson at UT Dallas. It should be called UT Richardson, but I digress. Uh, they had 19 arrests, uh, one who resisted arrest, so that's the second charge. The rest have uh, trespass charges, and they're going to spend the night in Collin Jail in uh, Collin County, thankfully not Dallas County. So now we're hearing tonight, as we see all this violence and this Jew hatred that's surfaced since... It's the most disgusting thing to me that Jews were killed and slaughtered in the largest and most vicious and vile uh, satanic attack. I mean, it's just, it's good or evil. I mean, this is so wickedly evil, uh, an evil attack uh, that, uh, you know, murdered 1,200 Jews and kidnapping 240 of them, raping them, etc., and now Joe Biden wants to bring the people that voted this government in, the people that supported these vile, evil terrorists by, by a vote of three to four. Three out of four, I should say. So 75%, it's actually 72%, but roughly 72%, almost exactly three out of four Palestinian uh, people in Gaza support Hamas after they raped, killed, and tortured, and kidnapped the Jews. So this is who they are. 
at least three-fourths of them. This is who they are. This is what they want. They want to have, it's their song from the river to the sea. They want to kill every Jew in there. They want to kill 9.8 million, I think is the uh, amount in Israel, and that's uh, more than half of the world's Jews. They want to kill them and take over Israel. And there's a reason why no Muslim nation in the world will take them. Egypt won't take them. Jordan won't take them. Lebanon won't take them. Syria won't take them. Iraq, Iran, none of them. They want to keep them right there so they can kill more Jews and have a false narrative that they're victims and the Jews are evil. So they can wipe them out. That's all this is about. And Joe Biden's playing along well. He he's like he literally Israel's cheer, or excuse me uh, Iran's cheerleader in this. Now he wants to bring. A population in that has three fourths of them that support slaughtering, raping, and and uh, and and uh, Jews and and wiping them off the face of the earth. So, uh, do you support this? Do you support the White House saying now that they want to bring in Palestinians from Gaza as refugees? This report came out today from CBS News. They want to give uh, Gazans a permanent safe haven. They want to resettle these Palestinians from Gaza here, and guess what they're going to get? This is like the uh, Brothers Sarnayev. Do you remember the uh, two brothers, the Brothers Sarnayev, who were the Boston bombers? Remember them? Do you remember how, I don't know if you know this, but they came over on a similar type of a situation. I don't know if it was, um, I know there there were uh, immigrants on some kind of immigration visa, something about their coming from one of their radical Islamist countries that was, I I believe it was one of the... um, Former uh, Soviet Russia uh, areas, um, now a, you know one of the uh, surface uh, countries uh, you know, that's attached to Russia, but not Russia anymore. But it has a lot of uh, Islamists. They came here from there. They lived in the Boston area. They got welfare. They got checks and everything. So they had their food paid for by us, a lot of it, and they had their rent paid for by us. And they they used it to slaughter us. They hate us. And they come here, and they hate us, and they wanted to kill us all. They killed our cops. They killed some of our citizens. They love terrorism. They love radical Islam. And so the same type of a population is three-fourths of every Palestinian. Now Joe Biden says, I want to bring you here. I want to bring you here so one of you guys can come in and do death to America, death to the Jews. Maybe a quarter of you will be paying for it, supporting it, rallying at these rallies. And being violent with our cops, you hate us. You hate. Do you? Joe Biden's questionnaire is: Do you hate Jews and do you hate us? Get your butt in here. We want you, and we're going to pay for everything. We're going to pay for your food, your housing. Do you support this? That's my question for you. Do you support bringing Palestinians to America as refugees? Nobody in the world wants them, but we're supposed to take them because Joe Biden wants them. In the middle of an of an immigration crisis, do you know that this is the fourth month in a row Gallup polls? The fourth month in a row Gallup polls says that uh, immigration is the number one issue in America. Fourth month in a row. This has never happened, I believe, in its whole history. It's the first time that immigration has been four months in a row ever at this high of a level, Uh, let alone four months in a row, the number one uh, uh, concern. And here he is saying, let's bring people in that might want to kill us, kill Jews, and hate us, and love Hamas. 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. Do you support bringing Palestinians to America as refugees, and do you trust them not to hate Jews and hate Americans? I do not, and I do not want one of them there. I don't want any of them there. I don't care if Muslim countries took them. No Muslim country will take them. Egypt won't take them because of the Muslim Brotherhood, which is, which is the birther of al-Qaeda, ISIS, every one of them, and they're in there, and that's who many of these people are and who they love. There's a reason they found Mein Kampf, Hitler's book in a child's room highlighted with notes in it in these uh, as they prosecuted this war against the terrorist uh, radical Islamists. There's a reason that 72% of them said after October 7th that they support Hamas. They voted for them twice. They voted them in twice. They love them, and they're so happy they killed Jews. They loved it. They danced. Remember the Palestinian guy who played you the audio? Oh, mom, dad, I killed 10 Jews. Your son, your son killed 10 Jews. Oh, we're so proud of you, son. Hey, can you come to the United States? Oh, yes. They love living off the fat of our land and slaughtering us, these radical Islamists. Josh and Grapevine, you're on uh, 820 AM and now 93.3 FM WBAP. Hey, Josh. Hey, Chris, thanks for having me on again. Welcome. So, yeah, hearing I hadn't heard anything about this until you just uh, mentioned it. Uh, and 
and I got to say, that's insane. That is absolutely just objectively insane. Does this win you uh, to, over to as a non-Biden supporter? Does this make you think about voting for him? No, absolutely not. Like, if I was somewhere in the middle, I'm just like, that's in that, you know, if, if there's people, I don't know if there's people still floating out there. I don't even know if that's a thing, but anybody who, who wants to save this country would have to see the danger in bringing, you, you, like, something like 90% of Palestinians uh, came up in a poll that said they supported Hamas. That's after the terrorist attack they committed yeah, against Israel. The one I'm citing is 72%, and I can't find the 90% one. I heard Brian uh, uh, over at Fox News in the mornings. Brian, what's his name? Kill me. Kill me. Cite that, and I don't doubt him, but I haven't seen the poll. Yeah. Um, I, well, and I heard another I believe it. this afternoon uh, on the earlier show uh, mention it, too. But yeah, I, I absolutely believe it. Even so, even 70 percent. Let's call it six. Well, it's no, 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 no. It's officially, listen, it's officially 72 percent. 72 percent. I've been saying that three fourths of every Palestinian loved it when they murdered the Jews. They supported October 7th. They cheered at it. They regaled in it. They loved that Jewish blood everywhere. They want to see it and dance on it and take over Israel. That's who they are. Three fourths of them, according to a poll that was published in Reuters. Now, the 91, I've looked for it. If you can find it, send it to me. I, you know, Kilmeade's quoted it, but I've not seen it. Go ahead. I think that I think they're going to do this, and this is I think this is going to bite them in the rear end because you know this is where he's trying to ride this fence where he doesn't want to say anything, but at the same time he's he's scared of Dearbornistan and what's happening there, and so I think he's going to do this to try and galvanize you know his, his constituents in Dearbornistan, right. those other places who have been overtaken by uh, radical Muslims. And I like that you call it Dearbornistan, because that's what it is. Dearborn, Michigan is Dearbornistan. Josh, I got to roll, but I appreciate your great call, my friend. Darlene and Terrell, you're on uh, 820 AM and now 93.3 FM WBAP. Hey, Diane. Excuse me, Darlene. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. I'm upset, but I'm good. (laughs) I'm really upset about the protest, and I'm really upset about Biden now saying, oh, let's bring in all the the Palestinians from Gaza. Um, I, I don't understand what he's talking about other than just trying to ruin our country because we've got, we've got immigrants everywhere right now that we don't even know who they are or where they are. And he's wanting to bring in people from Gaza that hate us. And I was telling the guy earlier, I said, it's like a long time ago I used to hear about, you know, these other countries are setting us up and the United States is going to fall from within. And I kept thinking, there's no way that could ever happen. And I'm sitting here watching this craziness, and I'm thinking, oh my God, you know, this is what this is what they're trying to do. It appears that Joe Biden is trying to destroy America. Oh, he's and, definitely trying to do that. Well, he's doing a good job, as we all know. And I've got numbers I'm going to share with folks coming up next, including you, about how many uh, Palestinian refugees have come in over the past 10 years and what he's going to what he's planning on doing right now. And what we know, it's uh, quite a difference between the last 10 years and now. Uh, Darlene, I appreciate your call. And it sounds like you do not trust the Palestinian refugees that Joe Biden wants to bring here to not hate Jews and not hate Americans. Is that accurate? No, that's accurate. I think they're here to destroy America, and the more that come, it's going to jeopardize our future of our generations. I, I, I think uh, that Joe Biden's going to bring over uh, a Joe Karsanayev to, to do another radical Islamist terror attack on us while they're living off the fat of our land. Yeah, yeah. All There's right, no I, telling what they're planning. I, I mean, pres- they're, you, Go I ahead. appreciate you, too. No, Appreciate okay. you. All right, darling. Thank you very much. All right, 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. If you're just joining us, Joe Biden administration announcing today, well, CBS News reporting exclusively today, the White House is now considering welcoming, bringing over radical Islamist uh, population uh, of Palestinians, uh, bringing over Palestinians here. Um, good luck if you can find one who doesn't hate Jews and want to kill them all, and who doesn't hate America and want to kill them all. Um, we're going to explore this more. I'll give you some statistics that we have in the last 10 years, how many Palestinians have been resettled here. Do you trust this 
a population of Palestinian refugees that Joe Biden now wants to bring in. Do you trust them not to hate Jews and hate Americans and not to commit another Boston bombing like the brothers Sarnayev did? Do you support bringing them here to America as refugees, Palestinians? 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. Three lines open on News Talk 820 WBAP, now on FM at 93.3. Who doesn't want more of this here? Who doesn't want more of this here? Listen. Music to my ears. I want to get that in with some Islam, with uh, some uh, Arabic, you know, <laughs> yelling at us to death to America and death to uh, Israel and uh, kill the Jews and stuff like that. We're already getting Heil Hitlers at University of Wisconsin Madison. Uh, why not? Uh, we, we also have had uh, uh, go back to Poland. We've uh, heard all sorts of vile things in these uh, so-called protests. Why not bring more people over that feel that way? Like Palestinian refugees, Joe Biden announced – well, he didn't announce it actually. CBS News announcing that Joe Biden is considering bringing in uh, a bunch of uh, uh, people that uh, support Hamas, uh, particularly after they rape and kill Jews en masse. Uh, uh, the uh, hum, uh, the uh, what do you call it? Palestinian people from Gaza that he wants to bring in some of those uh, uh, so called uh, refugees. Now, uh, four hundred thousand refugees brought in the UA- United States so far this past year. Excuse me, four hundred thousand refugees fleeing violence in the past ten years. Four hundred thousand in the past ten years. Of those, only six hundred were Palestinian. That is point zero zero one five. So that is like like I don't even know what that number is one like one one hundredth, one and a half one hundredths of uh, of uh, uh, of a percent. Uh, now Joe Biden wants to bring how much you want to bet he's going wants to bring in more than we brought in in ten years like he does with everything else. How much you want to bet he's going to bring in a thousand or two thousand or five thousand? He's going to do as much as he can to get the radical Islamist support. Do you support being uh, bringing in Palestinians to America as refugees, even though no Muslim nation ever have and never will take them? And do you trust them, the Palestinian refugees Joe Biden's getting excited about bringing here? Do you trust them not to hate Jews and Americans and not to end up being a, a, a bomber like the Boston bomber who we gave everything to them, benefits and everything, and they kill us? They killed us. They killed our cops. Everything. 800-288-WBAP is our number. Nate in Arlington. You're on uh, 820 AM and now 93.3 FM. WBAP. Hey, Nate. Yes. How, how you doing? Okay. How are you? I'm doing fine. I, I can't understand why we are sitting back and not understanding it wasn't but 25 years ago when they raised war on the United States and bombed the World Trade Center that that whole area was lit up. They were so happy. Why would we bring them into our country? Video, you're exactly right. They were ululating, you know, la, 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 and they were celebrating the streets of Palestine. They were celebrating it. Joe wants that they, here so he can, he wants them to slaughter us. They said death to all Americans. I mean, why would we bring them into the country? Joe Biden needs to be charged with treason, and, and he needs to be put out the country. I, I would love to that man to be charged with treason and put out the country. Um... So you, it sounds to me like you would never want to bring in any Palestinian refugees to America like Joe wants. Never at all. That's like inviting a thief into your house who broke in several times. Why do you think, Nate, that, um, why do you think that uh, three-fourths of every one of them love what Hamas did when they raped and killed and slaughtered Jews on, on October 7th? Why do I think? Why do you think they uh, that that the the uh, refugee whatever the uh, uh, people in Gaza uh, hate Jews and Americans so much and regale on us being slaughtered and raped and murdered and kidnapped? I think they just want to take over the world. Everywhere they go, they put in their law, they put in their their culture, and they have a way of the, the way they want to do it. If you can be in Europe, you can be in the United States, you can be everywhere. And it's just it's just a mass covering of nothing but Islamic way. It's their way or no way. And if they come into the United States like they're doing, they want it their way or no way. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I did find the poll now. The Associated Press, check this out, brother. The, the Associated Press did report uh, that Palestinian poll shows a rise in Hamas support close to 90%. Uh, want okay. It says ninety percent want a uh, uh, they want uh, Mahmoud Abbas 
to uh, they reject him. Okay, so that's the 90%. I'm still seeing the 72. I'll keep following it, though. Nate, thank you, and I agree with you. Um, I guess last question is why, why won't any Muslim nation take them ever and never will, apparently, the Palestinians? Look at what they do. The Arabs don't want them. Nobody wants them. And Joe does. Thank you for your call, Nate. Great call, brother. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. He kind of sounded like Dave Chappelle, didn't he? <laughs> the uh, the kind of smoker's voice. Yeah, he says he's just not. My, my producer, uh, Garrett, said he just now uh, realizes that. Yeah, I'll keep looking for the 90% one. I, I don't doubt it, like I said. I'm trying to find it. We'll see. But it is 72% of every um, uh, Gazan supports slaughtering. Uh, by the way, now, here's another one. Times of Israel, over 70%. That's the one I did. Uh, Palestinians say Hamas did the right thing by slaughtering, raping, and murdering, kidnapping Jews. Okay. All right. Now, uh, coming up next. And by the way, the last point, I was getting at this in, in the last segment. The last point I want to say is this. Our Jew, Jewish brothers and sisters were raped, murdered, tortured, kidnapped, and everything. And so many say that Israel is horrible, and they attack them after they get violated like that. That is evil. That is absolutely wickedly evil. All those people. And I, I include the Palestinian people. I don't want any of them here, ever. None. Coming up next on the Chris Crock Show on News Talk 820 WBAP, and now on FM at 93.3, you are going to hear about the, This is a great one I wanted to get into, the new math of driving your car till the wheels fall off. This is a fantastic piece from the Wall Street Journal today. A lot of drivers are saying, you know what, I'm not going to sell my car. I'm going to keep it because it's so expensive, and the maintenance is better to do uh, or to fix it is better than, than buying a new one. I cannot wait to get into that with you on the Chris Crock Show. Coming up next on News Talk 820 WBAP, now on FM at 93.3. 800-288-WBAP is our number. That's 800-288-9227.